Welcome to your Evoke Closed Loop Chronic Pain Therapy, the only spinal cord system that measures and adjusts to your body's response to stimulation. Our goal is to deliver a system that is easy to use so you can move beyond your pain and get back to doing what you love in life. This is a short guide on how to use your Evoke Charging System to charge your spinal cord stimulator. Please refer to your user manual for detailed instructions and safety guidance. With its simple, easy to understand graphics, the Evoke Charging System was designed to help you with your at-home charging needs. Before we begin to demonstrate the charging process, let's review the charger and how each of the buttons work. First, let's look at the upper left corner of the system. This symbol is called the charging link indicator. The lights tell you the connection strength of the charger to the stimulator. The more bars, the better the connection to the system. The better the connection, the better the charging session. If there is only one orange bar showing, charging is not possible and the system will beep once every second for about 15 seconds while it's trying to find your device. If there are two bars lit, you have marginal alignment and your charging will take longer. If three bars are lit, you have acceptable alignment for charging. If the coil moves away from the stimulator at this point, the charger will beep once to let you know that you have fallen below the quality connection level. Finally, if all four bars are lit, you have an ideal alignment for charging. To improve the quality of the link between the charger coil and the Evoke Closed Loop IPG, move the coil closer to the implant. Next, on the upper right corner is a small icon of a telephone handset. This phone symbol is called the contact clinician light. It tells you if and when you need to call your doctor's office about your system. If activated, the indicator light will flash six times if the charger detects either a problem with the charger itself or with the IPG. Moving to the battery icon on the middle left you'll see a symbol called the Charger Battery Level Indicator. This icon tells you how much energy the charger is holding to be able to transfer power to your IPG. It is important to start the recharging session with a full charger battery when possible. If the level indicator drops to one bar, recharge the charging system before proceeding with your session. You can do this by connecting the wall power to the top of your charging unit. If you choose to do so, you could leave your charger plugged into the wall whenever you aren't charging your device. Doing so will not damage the charger's battery. The middle green button is the Start Charging button. You will press this button to begin the charging process. To the right of the Start button is the CLS Stimulator Level Indicator. This shows you how much power is in your IPG. This level indicator should show four lit bars when the IPG is fully charged. When the CLS indicator shows one bar, you should recharge your device as soon as it is practical. If you do not charge your stimulator, it will eventually stop delivering therapy. Now that we have reviewed what each button means, let's walk through the steps of charging your system. Your implant may be in a different location in your body. First, turn stimulation off using your remote control. If you start charging while therapy is on, you may experience increases or decreases in the strength of your stimulation. Unplug the charger from the new power adapter. You will not be able to charge your device while the charger is plugged into the wall. To begin the charging process, place the charging coil over your device and clothing, ensuring no prolonged contact with your skin. Do not wear the charger or the charger coil on your skin for a prolonged time. Place clothing between your skin and the charger and charging coil. Press and hold the green button for more than one second. The charger will beep every second until the coil is aligned with the stimulator. The charging link indicator will then show at least two bars. Move the charger coil until the link is strongest. The charging link indicator should then show three or four bars. You may turn therapy on once charging has started. Keep the charger coil in place over the implant or battery until you have finished charging. 
The charger will beep once if the charger coil moves out of range. Realign the charger coil so the charging link indicator shows three or four bars. When the device is full, the charger will emit a one-second beep and display four bars on the CLS battery level indicator for 10 seconds. After that, your charger will emit a tone and turn itself off. Now plug the adapter back into the wall unit so you can begin your next charging session with a full charger. If you have any additional questions, please contact your physician's office or your therapy consultant.